Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting, and this time I want to talk about how to do tartans. Uh, it's going to be also a little bit of experiment for me, but I have the question in my channel, in the channel, so I have the question if uh, I can show how I will do tartans. So I will try to do it here. As you can see, I base coat the minute the the cape with red. I will do the tartans on the on the cape. And now the next step I will do is I will use quite a, a yeah, here it's like a greyish, very deep red. So I need to, I will use, I will do it different. I will go for a deep green. Okay. So I will do a tartar that is green and red. So we go for a deep green and I'm going to first to mark or show the areas. So we are going to do first something like that. Okay, we are going to make a like a quadricular the check check pattern okay we are going to do first vertical lines we are going to thick them okay We want to do first is to do vertical lines, more or less same thickness, the red and the green. So I will do that and I come back once it is done. So once we have done the vertical lines, okay, we are going now to do the horizontal lines. Okay, and here it's a little bit tricky because this cape have this strange shape. So, I will first follow with the bottom one the shape. Okay. Something like that. And in this video, I'm going to do a very basic one, Tartan. So, but then maybe in future I will try. I don't have too many meters where to do that, and this way I'm using this resin barbarian from the Fender Company. Because it's the only thing where I can show how to do the tartan. I don't really have any miniature where I think I can do that. No. Okay, so you can see I go quite thick with these lines. Okay. So I keep doing that and I come back once this is done. Okay, once we are in that point, the next step we are going to take a brighter green and we are going to do the next. So we will take, for example, Warstone green in that case. What I'm going to do is, where we have the intersection between this, the, the two green lines, we are going to do this is square. And lighter green. Ok. 
Okay, so we do this. The squares are a little bit deformed in purpose because the, the cape is a little bit bended. So I try to follow the shape of the cape, especially at the bottom. So this will I do okay. So I will keep doing that. Okay, you see the idea? So just where the two green lines, the horizontal and the vertical cross, I do this area in lighter green. Okay, so I will keep doing that and I come back once it's done. This is it's looking like, and the thing at this level is quite good. The other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use dark yellow, and we are going to do thin lines. And this can be quite a tricky one. So what I will do is I will do very thin lines, for example, following next to the green. Okay, you have to take a lot of. Um, we have to be sure that the brush is really thin. And I'm going to follow the green. to thin down a little bit more the paint to make it flow much easily. So I will do these three lines. I want to follow the green thing. <coughs> then we are going to do the same horizontally. So I'm going to take here horizontally. So this could be quite time consuming, but this will give really the right vision of the tartan. So I will keep doing that, as you can see here. See, this is a 
is the line is too thick, like there. Then I need the previous colors and clean up the line a little bit. So you only want this to be seen as the vertical ones. So I come next to this color. And you make it thinner. Okay. So you want the lines, the yellow lines really, not to be too thick. And this is the tricky part here, so it's going to be a difficult part. Okay, well I will keep doing these lines and I come back once this is done. After making all the lines, this is how it's looking like. And I think here I will finalize. So I cannot do more on this. It's, I did the squares a little bit too small on this one. And maybe I will do a repetition with a different pattern in the future. But this is a way to do this type of check looking cape, check looking uh, cloth. Uh, the last thing we, wa we can do is to eliminate a little bit the brightness of this yellow is we can do a wash and also we'll give a little bit of shading with Agmax L shade okay so we put this <coughs> sorry This will kill a little bit the brightness of, of the yellow. Okay. It will help to do the shading. I, I realized that I went at the end, the squares are too small. I should, this time I should do it then bigger. Now we look glossy, but once it's dry, it will really look mad. So I apply Agnes L shade all over the cape and I wait until this dries and I show you the final result when this has dried. So this is how it's looking like at the end. It's a little bit dirty but yeah this is what I was looking for this guy. So the wash if you want to look, look that dirty now you will need to clean up a little bit the color with the base color. So what we can what thing you have to do is go back with the colors that you use for the paint job and you paint inside of the squares. So this is how it looks like. I hope you have liked this tutorial. And yeah, and this is the, the thing I wanted to share with you this week. So these are a way to do tartans. Uh, I will try to do maybe complex ones. Here I did the squares too small to go for a complex. So if you want to do something more complex, you have to make bigger squares. That's all for now, I hope you've liked this tutorial, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later, bye!